Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena, let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, so your energy is the tower. Six of Wands, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, your person's energies, Two of Cups, Hierophant, The Lovers, Three of Cups, oh boy, Meeting Energies, Knight of Swords, we can discuss, Ten of Cups about Emotional Fulfillment, Three of Pentacles, it's not possible to build solid foundations. Soulful decision I had. Star Major Arcana. For me, the tower can be the path to the star, guys. This one seems to be a third party situation. This person can be married. It doesn't look good. Our focus, Eight of Wands. There can be passion. I have to say that it's like the two of you can be together, physically I mean, and then you can talk about what can happen uh, for your connection, but what this person can say to you can make you upset, because they can say, for example, that they cannot leave the old partner yet, you know, it's not the right moment, and all that jazz, and you can be, you can be upset. For once, maybe, maybe you would love to build something with this person, but it's like you are a secret, the moon. And there is the moon in the, in the background, in the Eight of Cups. We cannot see the stars um, if we are deep in the foggy energy of the moon, you know? no real chance to manifest a wish in a situation that doesn't offer the proper freedom to build something that can be reliable and trustworthy. And this person is taking advantage of some of you. You can call them out, but uh, at the same time, you can be called to make a choice because if they are not available, you can be the the third person on the sideline, you know, kind of sitting on the bench. This is not fair. Magic stream. This can be a desire to go with the flow right now. It doesn't seem to be a real chance or a real option. Gentle gardener. Um, lovely energy. It can resonate with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Empress, taking care of a connection, but it has to be a two-way street. Maybe this person is taking care of the sexual side of the connection with you, but then off they go. And you, you are left behind in some sense. Passionate moments, yes, but what else? Compass. Some of you will have to decide where you want to be moving forward. The star should be... The one to follow, you know, the, like a beacon, a beacon that can guide a person towards situations that can be positive. Spirit of place. This is an encouragement, guys, when it comes to the necessity to pay attention to uh, the things that can be around us. Deep freeze. This can be the outcome, if you ask me. Uh, if the tower falls, this connection can go away. It is a little bit opportunistic for this person, eh? Because, uh, you know, they are kind of playing around in some sense. For some of you, it can be a work-related connection. Three of Pentacles. For others, it can be just a matter of 
the impossibility to build solid foundations. Kisses. All right. <laughs> Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. It's all part of the lover's uh, moments that uh, the two of you can share together following the Eight of Wands. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. It can follow the Four of Wands. There can be a desire for you guys to build something real. Right now, it doesn't seem to be possible. This person can say that when they are with you, magic happens. All right, but then uh, they go away. They fall back to the old partner. How convenient. Hammer, bottom of the deck. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive. Repetitive, yes. The discussions. This person enjoys the third party situation because maybe they, they have a four of ones hierophant situation um, with the old partner, so there is a certain stability, allow me to say, and they are not willing to um, leave that behind. Then persistent and working on it. It's not possible. Let's find out more, guys. Let's see. Love seems to be just a word for this person. Sorry to say that. Uh, I can understand that some of you can be disappointed uh, by uh, what I am saying, but these energies... See, this person gets the Two of Cups, but you, you get the Eight of Cups. It means that you might have to look elsewhere in order to find the Two Cups that are missing so that you can get to the Ten of Cups, because this person can say that they love you, between quotes, but they are not willing to let go of the third-party situation. So, guys, what about the Two of Cups and the Lovers? Two of Cups. Five of Wands, competition, gossip. This person can fear gossip. Inner conflict, we can say that. It's like they can fall for a set of explanations that can be like, I do not know how to handle the situation. I do not know how to handle my old person. There are a lot of practicalities involved. It's not that easy, uh, be patient, you are pushing me, all that jazz. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Juggling two connections. One, yours, basically, uh, is kept secret. It cannot last. Ace of Wands, this is what they are offering you. Extremely phallic energy, guys. I think that you can get to the point. It is uh, exactly uh, what I was trying to share with you along these uh, first minutes. The Lovers, Crossroads, Six of Pentacles. They are taking advantage of uh, the situation. Some of you will have to put an end to this uh, um, unfair game, guys. I have to say, and I do not mean to sound rude or harsh, that if you settle for this type of game with someone that has already a partner back home, let's say, you cannot complain. You know what's going on. And if this person doesn't uh, say that there is a timeline for them to leave the old partner, so to be free, basically, <laughs> we have a big problem. We have an elephant in the room, in the bedroom, especially. Nine of Swords, anxiety. They can uh, be anxious about the necessity to make a choice. They can be anxious about the old partner especially if there is a lot at stake. They can be anxious to 
lose you guys and the benefits of your connection. So, it is an unpleasant situation. What about the Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups for you? Because the Warrior, the Six of Wands Warrior, can leave the battlefield behind. The battlefield is the fallout linked to the Tower moment, but it was a spark, this connection, Page of Wands. You kind of agreed to explore it. Now it's like uh, you can get burned by the situation, so you will have to be careful. You cannot be naive. Page of Wands, twice, boy. Six of Swords, crickets. This person uh, can be with you, and then they can ghost you, allow me to say. You can be left behind. Then they come back. Passion. Great sex, maybe. But then off they go again. This is the game. It's not positive, guys. It is not. What about the Eight of Cups? The moon in the background, which we have um, seen, it's like a process. You have to understand what's going on. Um, it can take some time, all right, but you cannot be the third wheel And you cannot allow another person to take advantage of you when it comes to the opportunity to be uh, the person behind the curtains, you know? For a sword, extremely quiet. The figure is laying down, so kind of sleeping. Bedroom, you know? You will have to fulfill... Uh, a deep introspection, guys. You will have to understand, if you want to settle for a situation like this one, I mean, there is free will. We are not here to judge anyone. But if you settle for this type of game, you cannot complain about it. You know what's going on. And on the other hand, if you know what's going on and it's not uh, fine with you, you will have to uh, manifest a change. So, guys, Knight of Swords out of curiosity and then the Two of Wands because it is a crossroads and there is the word. Watch out for the discussions and the harsh words that can fly around because of the Knight. Eight of Cups. Living. This can happen. Queen of Swords. On point. This is the energy that you need. Precise. Honest. Um... And then there's about respect, honor, self-awareness. I am not an option. I am not the side person only to please the senses of someone that then falls back to the old partner. Maybe they, they discuss with uh, the old partner. Uh, they come to you, amazing moments, and then thank you. I have to go back home. This game is twisted. Absolutely. So, two of ones, guys. This is an energy that for me can set the tone for what comes next in the journey. Major, major uh, turning point. And if the tower falls to the ground, it means that the star was not available in this connection for multiple reasons. It's not even important. If this person is not free, no star. Third party situation, no star. One card. Hierophant. Here we go. It can go two ways, guys. Uh, the soulful decision when it comes to the opportunity for you to go away is uh, deeply connected to the potential marriage or the potential commitment that this person already has ongoing, and this is a problem. And then we can even say that the soulful decision coming from you guys is aimed at the opportunity even to get married, but in order to go the 
in order to go down the four of ones road, let's say ultimate celebration, soulful partnership, 11-11 type of energy, the other person, the special person has to be free. We have to, we have to be real, you know? And then you cannot wait forever. Seven of pentacles, bottom of the smaller deck. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for what? Waiting for a star to fall. All right, amazing song from the 80s. Uh, if it is not falling any star for this connection, we have to be honest enough to realize it. Guys, it can go cold and you will have to make a choice, making a choice. This connection can be swept away, storm filled, because it can hit a rock bottom all of a sudden. Because this person is not free. And at some point, you can realize that you deserve more. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.